So we, we're, we just did a documentary uh, on this, as you know, because you are part of it. It's called Transgressive. Um, and in the episode that we're putting together right now, we spoke to someone who went through the process of transition as a child and then decided to detransition. Her name was Helena Kirshner. It's a pretty amazing story. Here's part of our interview with her. I decided to call myself a demi-girl, which is one of the 40 million genders. And that basically means that I'm mostly a girl, but I'm a little bit not a girl, which is just like, what does that even mean? And then after that, I went to demi-boy. And then after that, I went to gender, gender fluid. And after that, I eventually went to trans boy. But all this took like two or three years of just going through this repetitive cycle of changing this identity and changing it again. And it was just never enough. There was a lot of hopelessness for a long time, a lot of regret. The, the feeling of regret was intense. Amazing story. Um, so, Abigail, you, you've interviewed an awful lot of kids who've gotten caught up in this and then tried to leave it. Does that bear resemblance to, to kids you've spoken to? Absolutely. I was able to uh, profile Helena for my book. And, you know, one of the stories that haunted me most that she told is how easily she was able to obtain uh, testosterone on a first visit to a clinic. And this is a young woman, you know, she's a brilliant young woman, and she's written yeah. now in, in granular detail about how no adult who held themselves out as an expert put up any safeguards. They just rushed her through the, this transition, which she now regrets. And the number of young people who regret their medical transitions is exploding in this country. Uh, when I first wrote my book, you, there were 7,000 members of the online group, the subreddit, it, devoted to detransitioners, people who regretted their transition and went back. That number is now up 400 percent from when I wrote my book. So young people are coming out, they're regretting this, and they were given no safeguards by the adults who were supposed to know better. And someone should let them speak. They've been, they've been suppressed. Oh, that documentary comes out, by the way, next month in July, and we're proud to do it, and Abigail plays a big role in it. Abigail, great to see you tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you.